Capricorn and Libra. That didn't take much at all. <clears throat> I'm only going to take three, so I'm going to put this one back. But this is uh, Archangel Metatron at the bottom of the deck, which is an important energy. Uh, he keeps a list of the naughty and the nice. This need the crap. Uh, anywho, something that needs to be clarified. You need to see clearly. There could be some red flags or some shit here. Somebody could be moving in the near future. Uh, needing to move something along. Anywho. Alright, so honesty and transparency, there's some sort of hidden tactics or delay tactics. This is, could be about the cell of the self here uh, or coming from someone else. And this is uh, your intuition. It's your, your, um, your gnosis. So hypersensitive about something, a lover's. So there's a lover's, a, a soulmate that's deceiving somebody. Let's try to hide something from someone. Capricorn and Libra, y'all could be dealing with each other, have the shits in your charts, or uh, just have similar situations. The Eight of Swords. So definitely wanted to keep somebody in the dark about something. Somebody's like really worried that somebody's gonna be able to figure something out. Or, see what's going on or some shits like that the page of cups i do feel like the things are quite obvious like if somebody just listened to their intuition uh also somebody may like obsessively like apologize like a lot of apologies i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so a lot of I, i'm sorry it, there's no need to be that sorry all the time so there's something wrong with that five of wands and the high priestess so there's a lot of intuition and gut gut things happening here. What's behind that? The King of Cups, which I just put the King of Cups away. So something may have to do with some water sign here. Uh, let me see. Somebody's like feelings are very hurt. Very hurt feelings. Somebody also, they just need to like grow up. And I don't even know if that's a thing. Just put your big girl, big boy pants on and move on. At least how, that's how the opposition is uh, out here. Like, why? This seems like a no-brainer. The competition, the conflict that's going on around here. It seems like it's not necessary. It, like, it's really quite obvious. It's a little fortunate. If it ain't obvious, it's about to be obvious. So, honesty and transparency. The ability to see through what the fuck people are, are trying to hide from you. Uh, anywho. There's a mask, an ego, misrepresentation. There's some projection going on here. With the fool, that's a new opportunity. Uh, someone also could just be like really foolish. Seven of swords to think that people aren't going to figure the things out. <clears throat> Somebody thinks that they are that powerful with a magician. That like... They can just continue to deceive somebody, walk all over someone's like heart. This is like really like stealing from somebody's emo uh, stealing from somebody emotionally, uh, deceiving somebody emotionally about like how people actually feel about something. So this could be some sort of messaging, the messages that are coming back and forth from someone. Someone could be like, well, you know, do you love me? Do you not? Do you love me? People are lying, lying. The devil and justice. Maybe somebody just can't bring themselves to like tell the truth here. Just be like, no, this is what I really want. Or this is what I've really been doing. Or this is what really makes me happy. <clears throat> So somebody's like very at, unhappy at home with a home or with a partnership or the security of a partnership or the amount that somebody is being celebrated. It's like, I don't know why you always out there doing that. Why don't you pay attention to me? Ooh, death in reverse. And the three of swords. Somebody just won't let some shit go either. They're like banking on, you're banking on a lot of feelings. Somebody just really is like, well, you know what? If I tell so-and-so that I'm sick or that, you know, I want to like kill myself or something, maybe they won't like leave me or some shits like that. Like this is like some sort of like crazy uh, thought. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Three of Swords. Really not wanting somebody to move on. <clears throat> the fool. So, 
Ace of Cups and the Knight of Wands. This definitely could be some sort of player energy, but there's also like, there's a lot of moving. The Knight of Wands is moving. The Eight of Cups is moving. And, and about the wish fulfillment, whatever people want to make the heart happy is separated here. They're not like one and the same. They're very, very, very different. And then there's the King of Cups again. Like for me, that's cancer. It could be fucking anybody but there's a lot of missed opportunities a lot of red flags uh a lot of just you know going with the flow to go with the flow here um it's not because the things are vic victor mm -hmm. not because people are winning because that's not what's happening people feel very insecure divine orchestration helpers in subtle realms so there's all sorts of signs and synchronicities Available for you to see about your options uh, and things that may or may not be good for you. Your opinion of me does not affect my opinion of me. You should repeat that. You thought the grass was greener. Somebody stupid's contagious. Somebody may want to propose after cheating on somebody. Definitely somebody's uh, questioning whether or not we could do this again. Can we, can we have more of this? Because <clears throat> somebody hasn't had enough already. What they are telling you, there's missing information. Somebody just likes to save their ass all the time. Nothing changes if nothing changes. If you think this is going to be any different than the last time, you're sadly mistaken. Uh, lessons, toxic, karmic relatives, care less, you'll be stressed less. I guess if you don't involve yourself with the things, then you won't be feeling so crappy. Whatever doesn't kill me. Yeah, somebody stresses somebody out to the point where, like, you know, people are going to have motherfucking heart attacks here just dealing with these people. Bend the line. Don't ever break it. I do feel like somebody's constantly, like, uh, poking the bear, so to speak. Pacify. Clarify, clarify, clarify. Identify, clarify. I y'all reassure and persuade does feel like somebody's trying to like persuade somebody and reassure them that like I'll be better, do better, this is going to get better and it's like you know what? You need to clearly identify that this is a problem, a misunderstanding. No, oh, no, no, no. Ineffective communication and misinformation and misinterpretation. And no, don't tell me what I I really just like that when people are like, "Oh no, you don't get it." or you don't understand. Don't tell me what I don't get or what I don't understand. See, these are my shoes, my life, my eyeballs. It's my perception. It's not up to you to discern my interpretation of what is and what isn't. So that's the great thing about being human. We all got our own motherfucking brain. Okay, and what did I say about don't poke the bear? This says somebody is poking the bear here. Try me, I dare you. There is a poking energy. So the bear energy could just be relevant. Somebody really could be out for like blood with this killing energy and blood makes you related and loyalty makes you family. Ugh, this is a head scratcher. Life has a way of testing a person's will either by having nothing happen, happen at all or by having everything happen at once. This sounds like a, the, the dam's about to break. Everyone's been trying to keep the things in place, all the problems and the obstacles and so the people can't see from the outside, but the people are about to see from the outside here. Uh, 21, 21. Meh. Could have something to do with nothing. Anywho, so separation, estrangement, solo, uh, foreign affairs. There's uh, these great problems out here where uh, they're about to be getting addressed here. It's like you can't not see them with the sun. And this is about taking a leap of faith and moving on, moving on, and moving on. And this is moving on as well. Ugh, unconditional love is uh, is unconditional, but it is not abusive here. Somebody is like, you know, banks on somebody's like kindness and care, you know, caring like attitude. Or they'll take me back or they'll understand or, or you know. I'll make them understand. No, no, no. Uncommon bonds. Somebody's had enough. Libra. Skies. Sudden and unexpected and shocking liberation here. The Wheel of Fortune says, like, it's like time to be done with some shit. Someone saw something on the internet as well. No more negativity. Uh, anywho. Uh, 